It's just amazing how gorgeous it is out here. Them white trees over there, that's my neighbor's property. It's about 1,500 feet away, if you can believe it. But them trees way down there in the back, that, that's about a mile uh, away. So this is a huge area. So I decided tonight to come out and, uh, and sit in the stand and uh, probably end up just talking a little bit about hunting videos and kind of what I've got planned and what I had planned that changed a little bit. So after everybody kind of said, yeah, let's see them, I, uh, I kind of started to look into it and started to look into what other guys have done and, and um, you know, how that works. And, and uh, some of that kind of changed the last week. Um, I was sitting, I was watching uh, Morgan Gold, uh, Goldshaw Farms uh, monthly farm uh, meeting. And um, somebody had asked him if he was going to make hunting videos. And I thought, hey, here we go. This will be a good topic. Um, I didn't even know that he had made hunting videos in the past, so that was pretty exciting. So I thought, here we go. Well, he went on to basically talk about how it's something that he definitely would probably try to do again in the future. But the only problem with it is, is that YouTube really hammers him on any kind of videos like that. And that kind of made me think about other creators that I like li listening to and watching. And um, I know uh, Pete. Over there at uh, just a few acres farm. I, I love that guy's videos. God, he's so good. Um, he's mentioned before about, you know, when it comes time of the year to slaughter animals. And how um, he's not going to show it on this video per se. But you can go back and you can watch it on an older video. And um, I should say here, I don't want to sound like I'm going after any of these creators. I'm just kind of, this is this is what they're, this is what they're saying. And, and you know... To me, that's kind of was weird. So much of things nowadays, people go to YouTube to learn how to do everything. I mean, there there probably isn't even a subject that isn't covered at this point. And um, you know, there's a few more guys that I really, really like that uh, they do a lot of like chicken processing videos where they put on seminars and they they show you know they have people out to their their farms and they show them how to process chickens and. God, that stuff is cool, but when you watch the video, it's 10 minutes, and you never get to see a chicken get processed. And I'm not saying that, that you know, I'm expecting to see that. I kind of, at this point, have an understanding, but what it sounds like is that they don't want to make those types of videos because it's damaging their channels. And so I wanted to know a little bit more about it, so... Went off to the uh, Google uh, YouTube Terms of Service page to do a little reading and try to figure out what the heck's going on. And I'll tell you, I also reached out to a couple of other creators who have a little bit more experience than I do, just to kind of get their take on it. And the feedback wasn't surprising, but it was kind of disappointing. Not disappointing because I think they should be doing something different, Disappointing from a standpoint of this is important knowledge that I don't want to see get lost. And what I mean by that is, is I think that there's a lot of people out there who have gone to YouTube to learn things and learning how to process animals for yourself is a very important thing. You know, you can go down to the store and get yourself a pack of hamburger and that's all fine and dandy, but that burger didn't originate in that store. You know, it didn't originate on the truck it came in on. It didn't even originate probably at the processing plant where it was made. And so I think it's important for people to understand where does their food come from? How is it, how does it go from, you know, field to plate basically? And I think with the hunting videos, there's a chance for some knowledge that can be learned with that. It's not all just for entertainment purposes. Sure, there's enough of that out there in the world as well. Ultimately, a lot of these creators are shying away from this type of content because they don't want their channels damaged. Now, this channel at this point isn't monetized. I know that YouTube runs ads on it. If you don't have a premium account and you watch one of our videos, you're probably going to sit through an ad or two. 
So I would imagine if I make content where I'm showing the slaughtering of an animal, they're probably not going to be able to run ads on it. And so from their standpoint, they're not going to want to promote the video. So I'll probably have a lot less impressions with a video like that. Although the good news is, is I don't get much impressions the way it is. We're doing quite good, but wish it, you always wish it was better. So I actually went and I printed off and I read through the uh, terms of service, like I said, and basically it works down for monetization. And it has guidelines for what you can and cannot run ads on specific to hunting. So according to YouTube itself, they say you can turn on ads for this type of content, hunting. Oh, well, that's positive. I can have, if I'm monetized, I can run ads for hunting content. Seems reasonable. But then when you read it, it, it specifies here, hunting content where there's no depiction of graphic animal injuries or prolonged suffering. Now, any hunter out there worth his salt is not going to want to have an animal have prolonged suffering. However, it's pretty hard to avoid graphic animal injuries when you're dealing with hunting videos. You know, you're injuring an animal to the point where it dies. So what, what is also acceptable by YouTube is that hunting videos where the moment of kill or injury is indiscernible and with no focal footage of how this dead animal is processed for trophy or for food purposes. So if you harvest an animal, you cannot show it being processed for either a trophy or um, basically a mount or for food. So if I were to film myself out here shooting an animal, a deer, and I want to process it and turn it into a burger or steaks, I can't show that to you guys. And I'm going to be completely honest. I actually had a pretty solid plan until I looked further into this. You know, after everybody said, hey, let's see some hunting videos, what I kind of was thinking about doing was, well, first, let me uh, brag up a friend a little bit here, and I hope he's not too embarrassed that I'm going to talk about him, but I have a very good friend, Ken, and uh, he's actually going to be up here a week from now with me, uh, hanging out and doing a little hunting. I'm pretty excited about that. And um, for 15 years of his life, he spent that time being a butcher. And one really, really cool thing about that is, is that when there's a deer to be processed, Ken is extremely efficient and extremely knowledgeable with that type of an activity. So much so that I was really hoping to talk him into letting me film some of it and actually me being the student in this case and having him basically teach me and show you guys exactly how that process is done from the moment of kill all the way until basically you're putting a steak on the grill. Um, my plan was three separate videos. Um, one vid video was going to be the field dressing where I would be a field dressing a deer. Ken would be verbally talking me through it, giving me tips, tricks, different things that can make it a little bit easier. Sometimes depending on where the kill shot is, the uh, field dressing of the deer can, it can complicate things from time to time. So I thought that would be one video. Another video I thought would be once we got it back would be the skinning. It would be the quartering, the cutting off of the meat. One thing that's amazing about Ken is, like I said, when, he, when he's taking the meat actually off the bone, he will take off a chunk, hold it in his hand and explain to you that if you went to the store and you bought, say, like a chuck roast or, uh, you know, this or that, these are those specific cuts that you'd be buying off of the animal. Most cases it's a cow, but pretty much the same thing. Um, from there, uh, I had a third video planned, which would be him and I processing all of the meat. Um, one thing that we like to do is we like to make ourselves a healthy amount of venison burger. We also like to take the best steaks and cut those up and package them all up properly so that they can be placed away in the freezer for another day uh, to enjoy. And then we take a healthy amount and we turn that into breakfast sausage. This is some of the best breakfast sausage you've ever had in your whole life. And basically what it is, is it's, it's about 50-50 venison and uh, pork mixed and ground in together. Some seasoning is added. 
absolutely delicious with bacon, eggs, the hash browns, the whole works, and absolutely wonderful. So anyways, that was kind of my plan. And at this point, you know, I'm, I'm kind of at a crossroads. I don't really know what to think. On one side, you know, the, the channel's not monetized yet as of the date of publish of this video. And, you know, I, I don't really have anything to lose. I, I, you know, I'm not hoping to upset anybody. I, I literally want to just make sure that this knowledge goes out there. And, you know, and if, if I can help somebody learn something or, or um, enrich their life in any way, that's what this channel has been truly all about. Let's help people. Let's, let's show people what we've learned over the past five years and, and uh, you know, see if we can extend the knowledge, you know. So, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm going to try and make some hunting videos. We'll see how they, we'll see how they go and, you know, what the footage ends up looking like. Um, you know, that's the other thing. You don't just come out here and just, you know, pick out your deer and walk back to the garage and you're done. You know, I'm going a, I'm to a be completely honest. I didn't grow up deer hunting at all. I don't think my dad's ever been deer hunting in his whole life. But I did grow up doing a lot of duck hunting, pheasant hunting. I hunted so much. I've hunted probably more than most people would in 10 lifetimes. You know, I was fortunate enough to hunt with my brothers and spend time with them. I, I was thinking back earlier today about it, and I think there was one year, I want to say like 2006, I think my brother Mark and I, we missed three mornings of duck hunting the entire season. It was absolutely crazy. We were out there every single morning in the duck blind before work. And, um, you know, I've hunted plenty enough with my other brother, uh, Grant, and, um, and my dad. I mean, ever since going back to when I was like 12 years old. You know, spent tons of time, but it's always been ducks and pheasants. And I love duck hunting. My, one of my favorite things to do. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe that could be a thing, but we have a pretty nice pond here. And, uh, you know, I've, I've gone and duck hunted out there a little bit. The but other thing is, you know, the, the pond's great, but you might get one or two chances in the morning if you're lucky, and you better not screw them up, so... Before you know it, the ducks are on top of you and you better be ready to rock and roll when they come in, so. But, uh, but anyways, like I said, you know, I'm gonna try to make some hunting videos and um, maybe we'll have some fun. Who knows? And we'll see, you know, I'm kind of hoping to get your guys' opinion on this one and see what you think, you know. I definitely don't want to risk, you know, having the channel hurt in any way, shape or form or, you know, I'm not out to tick off YouTube and, you know, have them upset, but I do think this knowledge is important. I do think that it needs to be continued on and passed down. And I know there's probably hundreds, if not thousands of videos out there that show all this type of stuff. And maybe I shouldn't even concern myself with it, but there's just something inside of me that just says, you know, you can never have enough knowledge. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. You know, if there was anything to shoot, I'm sure I scared it off by sitting out here talking. But that's okay, because this is important too. So, thank you.